Hi guys and welcome to yet another WebGL tutorial and today we're going to take a look at how we can move, scale and rotate our 3D objects in 3D space. So uh, stay tuned! So to accomplish this we're going to create a transformation matrix which is a 4x4 matrix that allows us to move, scale and rotate our 3D objects with some clever math. This matrix would be uploaded dynamically to the GPU so that the vertex shader can use it to transform the vertex positions. So starting off we'll need a package that can handle matrix and vector math uh, and I have found a really nice a package called GL Matrix. So I'm going to link this in the description for you so you can download it as well. Uh, and when you've done that, we want to create a new folder called utils. And inside of here, a new file called maths.js. And we want to import a 4D matrix and a 3D vector. For that from GL matrix. I want to create a new function to re convert radians, uh, degrees to radians. So to radians, so I'm throw in the degrees, and what we want to return is the degrees times math.pi divided one by 180. And then let's create another function which we're actually going to export. So const create transformation matrix. This will take in a lot of parameters here. Uh, so x, y, z, r, x, r, y, r, z, and the scale. So the x, y, and z are the position. This is the rotations on the different axes, and this is the scaling. Then we can create a new matrix, which is basically just an empty array for now. I'm going to fill this with uh, with ones. So you can do that by typing mat4.identity. I want to translate the position. So mat4.translate. And we're going to first put in the matrix as our source. And the output is also going to be the same matrix. And then we're going to create a new vector x, y, and z. So now we've translated our position. Now we want to rotate it as well. So mat4.rotate x. And then we want to call the matrix and matrix again, just as the pre previous one. And then two radians are x. So now we have rotated along the x axis. Now we need to do the same thing for the other ones. So y and z and r, y and are said. And then finally we want to scale it. Matrix, matrix, vec3.from values and we're going to throw in the scale three times here. So we want to scale it uniformly along all axes. And then we want to return the matrix. Now we need to create a model instance. So we're going to if you remember from the previous tutorial, we added an instance here and it was just a string. Now we want to be able to pass in an actual object which will contain this transformation matrix along with other stuff. So we're going to create a new folder called model instance and we're going to create a file called index.js here and then we want to export default class model instance. Now we're going to actually take in the newly created function we did in the utils file. So import create transformation matrix from utils maths. Import, <laughs> export, of course. And then we want a constructor. And we're going to take in the x, y, z, r, x, R, Y, and R, Z, and then the scale. And then we're going to bind these in the constructor. So this dot X is equal to X, this dot Y is equal to Y, and so on. Then 
there we go and now we want to create a new function here called update transformation matrix and this will basically call this function here and bind it to a variable so this dot transformation matrix is equal to that function and throw in this dot x this dot y and all of those so this dot z and so on beautiful and uh, now we need one more thing here and that is to actually return this transformation matrix because the renderer will actually take care of this so get transformation matrix and we just want to return this then we'll create uh, a function to update the rotation just to visualize everything later on so update rotation but you can do it for the position and the scale as well or z and then we want to say that this dot rx plus equals to rx and this dot ry plus equals ry and this dot rz plus equals rz and then we want to call this update transformation matrix here because every time we make a change we want to update it and create a new one now we will need a way to actually upload this transformation matrix to the shaders so go into our shader file in our model shader and inside of here we're going to create a new thing called a uniform so that is basically a way for us to continually update new things to the graphics card so this dot transformation matrix is equal to glc dot get uniform location and the same thing here throw in the program and we're just going to name this transformation matrix I can put it in the locations but we can do that later on then we want another function in the bottom here which can enable this transformation matrix so enable like this and then we want to call glc and we're going to create a function called upload matrix 4fv which is four values of the type float and then this dot transformation matrix and then an actual matrix so we're going to throw that in as a parameter and the matrix so that is really good now we want a way to reference this inside of our shader our vertex shader so take this copy this go to your vertex shader and type uniform mat4 and then the transformation matrix and then we're just going to multiply our position with this transformation matrix which will basically take care of everything for us automatically now we can go into our model renderer and inside of here uh, where we're looping through each instance we're going to call this dot shader dot enable transformation matrix and we're going to call instance dot get transformation matrix so we're uploading each transformation matrix of each instance to the shader and the shader d does its magic basically then one final thing here is we want to go into our GL commander and we need to create those functions we just created here uh, called here sorry so we can start off by uh, we can do that here in the bottom perhaps so type upload matrix for float values and we're going to pass in the location and the matrix and then we want to call this dot deal dot uniform matrix for fb and we want to throw in the location and another parameter which is called false uh, which is basically transpose but we don't want to do that and then the actual matrix and then we also needed the get uniform location which will take in the program program and the uniform and then we want to call this dot gl dot get uniform location 
program and uni form. Now we can go back into our init file. And inside of here, we're going to create a new function called render. Because we need to animate this in order to see anything. And then we're going to call this uh, window.requestAnimationFrame, throw in the render function. And the same thing inside of the render function. Then, of course, we want to clear in the beginning of our scene. And then we want to render. Now, we're not going to use this string here. Instead, we're going to import our model instance. So import model instance from model instance. And then we want to create a new instance. And we're going to do that right here. So const instance is equal to a new model instance. And we're going to center it by giving the positions all 0. Same for the rotations. And the scale will be 1. Then we can use this instance inside of here. So paste that in there. And then inside here, we can actually call instance.update rotation. And we can maybe increase the, we can increase the rotations on all axis by 1 degree per frame. So now if we go to the browser, you can see that we have a fully rotating uh, triangle in 3D space, which is really awesome. Now, I said last time that we should be able to render a quad, uh, a cube, sorry, uh, but we're going to do that next time, uh, because otherwise this tutorial will be a bit too long, uh, this episode. So uh, I hope this was really useful for you, and I'll see you in the next one, and we'll create some really awesome things in the future as well. So thank you, and bye.